It was one of the biggest events in Richmond last year, and now the Richmond Folk Festival is back for its second year. Inside's Eric Blackstock is in the studio with more. All right, joining me now is Stephen Lecky, the festival manager for the Richmond Folk Festival. Thanks again for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Um, so it's my understanding that you guys have been around for five years. The first three years was a national folk festival, and now it's been in Richmond for two years. Correct. The uh, national folk festival has been around for over 70 years now. Travels from city to city for three-year stints uh, in hopes that the city that they go to will continue on with the festival, and that's what we've done for the last two years and looking forward to it in October. And when the National Folk Festival uh, left Richmond, what was the, why was the decision made to keep it here? Um, I think the fact that we had about 150,000 people come to the last event with the National um, sort of solidified the fact that this was an event that was needed in the city, um, as well as corporate sponsors came back, um, which is a huge help to have them uh, providing the funds for this event. But uh, we just felt that it was, it was great for the city to have this event. Right, and uh, clearly people are enjoying it. Uh, I see last year 185,000 people or more actually came. That's right. Are you guys expecting that many people again this year or possibly well, more? If the weather's all right, we are expecting probably that, that amount, if not more. Um, but, yeah, we'd like to continually grow it. Um, another way that we're growing it is the week prior to the festival, we're doing a lot of uh, club dates at the Hat Factory Legends, um, various uh, Capital Ale House, different places around town leading up to the event. So really, that's the way we can grow it. The site is only so big. So if we get up any more than 200,000 people, it's going to be a little tough. And that was going to be uh, another question of mine. What are the challenges of having so many people attend your event? Uh, size and constraints and uh, just making sure we are prepared on all levels, whether that's porta johns uh, water, ice, um, safety concerns with our EMS and first aid and police. Um, but fortunately, everything is run smoothly the last four years and uh, we hope it will do it again but I tell you with the site the way it is where you know it, it's sort of always changing and new companies are coming in Midwest Vaco has recently come on to the festival site um, so we've sort of had to do a little rearranging for it but but it's great we want that business coming into town and with so many people it's sort of a surprise to me that it's a free event how do you guys keep the folk festival free each year uh... corporate sponsors uh... funding from the city we also try and uh, collect money on site through donations uh... through our bucket brigade uh... but really without the the help of some of our sponsors we we couldn't do it it's it's about a one point four million dollar event so it takes a lot of folks to help us out and I'm assuming since you're helping put it together, this must be something something that interests you. Absolutely. Um, and there's probably too many to list right now, but yeah. do you have any personal favorite uh, guests that are coming to the event or event? Or I do, activity? yeah. yeah. Uh, Clinton Farron is a uh, reggae artist who's in a group called the Gladiators in the 70s and 60s, and uh, he's coming from Seattle with his group. We also have Jerry Douglas, who is a uh, pioneer in the Dobro. He's unbelievable. Uh, played with Allison Krause's group, uh, but there's quite a few good gr groups coming in. All right, well, before we go, can you uh, just let the people, our viewers, know when and where the festival will be held and how they can get more information about it? Yep, the festival is October 9th, 10th, and 11th, second week in October, and if they want more information, they can go to richmondfolkfestival.com. It's held on 70 acres uh, between 5th Street and 9th Street down on Browns Island, Tredegar Ironworks, 2nd Street Field, um, but yeah, again, richmondfolkfestival.com. It's got all the parking information. We have free shuttles that run from the Diamond as well as from the Beaufort Mall. So we hope everybody can come on out. All right. Well, Stephen Leckie, uh, Festival Manager for the Richmond Folk Festival, thanks a lot for coming out today. Thanks for having me.